Welcome back to New Rockstars. It's me, MT, and as the mysteries of Moon Knight continue to mount with the mayhem of Mark's mind, the most mondo mystery is what made Mark march to the mountainsides of Germany anyway, huh? I don't know about you, but I feel like Stephen Grant is not asking enough questions as to what exactly his other self was doing to cause him to wake up in the middle of the Bavarian Alps with a sore jaw. Because if I woke up in the middle of Europe with a sore jaw and no memories of what I did with my mouth, I would be quite concerned. What if I told you that Harrow and his ragtag team of tattooed terrorists powered by lentil soup were shooting the shit in the Bavarian Alps for a secret magic Nazi reason. And no, I'm not talking about Indiana Jones. I'm talking about red and racist bones. Red skull. Because I believe Hydra will be very much involved within the plot of Moon Knight and have already shown themselves in episode one. And I think that this secret could possibly help answer how Arthur was able to summon Scooby Doom from another dimension. So let's go ahead and speculate my nerd babies because we a speculation nation after all. And by the way, speaking of Moon Knight, make sure to pick up the latest Obsession shirt. These shirts are not going to last forever. They're Moon Knight inspired, and this design is literally my favorite design that we have so far. So head to newrockstarsmerch.com to pick it up because it's freaking tight. Episode one of Moon Knight finds poor gift shop Grant with a gun on the run with some unsavory types in the mountains of Germany. But this isn't the first time that the MCU has gone to the Bavarian Alps in Germany. Oh no. In fact, these very Alps were the home of the Red Skull himself, the Castle de Crake. You know, that place where Hydra's deepest roots in the dark world of the occult were revealed by Red Skull himself. The Tesseract was able to hold the power to rewrite the very laws of physics and unlock doors across the universe. As in the MCU, it would be within Johann Schmidt's castle in the mountains of Germany where he would make the foolish decision to try his own version of Erskine's super soldier formula on himself, causing his physiology to change completely and become the Red Skull. But as of this point in this main MCU live action universe, we only know the name of Red Skull's castle as Castle Kaufman, with Kaufman being the last name of the Nazi officer Ernst Kaufman, who Schmidt killed and stole his house keys from. I think that this Castle Kaufman ends up having its name changed by the Red Skull to the Castle de Crake to represent Hydra's dark arcane goal to bring their revered evil Squidward into the mortal plane through the gateway opening powers of the Tesseract. And Red Skull, of course, first comes across the Tesseract while on a Nazi vacation to Tonsberg, Norway, where the loyal worshippers of Odin agreed to hide the Tesseract in their small village on Earth after he himself saved them from the frost giants in the year 965, like a good god that actually listens to his people, and is currently where King Valkyrie's new Asgard stands. If this magic-loving scientist Red Skull spent so much of Hydra's time and Hitler's resources chasing magical objects like the Tesseract across the Earth, and with Phase 4 of the MCU beginning to show us more and more artifacts of dark influence, Wen Wu's Ten Rings, Dane Whitman's Ebony Blade, or the God Butcher's Necrosword, Agatha Harkness's Darkhold, and now seemingly Arthur Harrow's life-draining jackal summoning cane, there is a good chance that Red Skull had a huge stash of a bunch of old magical items, with one of those items being the very MacGuffin of the Moon Knight series, the Golden Scarab, which Steve unwillingly has in his possession when he wakes up. We could be looking at a scenario where Mark Spector, as Moon Knight, stopped Arthur Harrow and his cult from looting the abandoned former home of the Red Skull to find his Golden Scarab that Red Skull might have found a long, long time ago, but never got around to finding the use for. Now, it's not good to get something intended for someone else, whether it's a restaurant order or a medical diagnosis, you want to get the thing that was intended for you, because no doubt. And thanks to Helix, you can get the mattress specifically made for you. Helix Sleep makes premium mattresses and bedding customized to fit your needs and shipped right to your door. Helix has a sleep quiz that matches your unique body type and sleep preferences to the perfect mattress for you. I took the quiz and I got matched with the Helix Plus mattress because I wanted a mattress for a bigger man like myself. And it gives me a ton of support and I've never slept as good in my life. Like that is for real. I'm not just saying this. I love my Helix mattress. I'm looking at it right now. I love you. Mwah. I got it not too long ago and I absolutely love it. Like I, I have never, like before I used to wake up like with my body sore for some reason, but with my Helix mattress, I've never slept better. Thank you, Helix. Like legit. Thank you. <laughs> But I really appreciate it. And Helix delivers your mattress right to your door for free. And it comes rolled up in a surprisingly small box and is super easy to set up yourself. And Helix has a 100 night sleep trial so that you can get more than three months to make sure that you love it. And if you don't, they'll pick it up for you and you'll get a full refund. I love my Helix and I think you would too. And if you're looking for a new bed, check out Helix. You can click the link below or go to helixsleep.com slash rockstars to get up to $200 off your Helix mattress. That's helixsleep.com slash rockstars.
stars. But Red Skull was of course not alone in his efforts to be a douchebag, because none of Red Skull's MCU achievements could have been possible without Schmidt's right-hand Swiss Arnim Zola, who, as we remember from Captain America Winter Soldier, crafted the Project Insight formula that was designed to scan the digital brains of everyone on the planet in an effort to predict future threats to the Hydra cult vision for the future, with one of those threats even suspiciously being the magical Sorcerer Supreme himself, Doctor Strange. Zola's algorithm is a program for choosing Insight's targets. What targets? Bruce Banner, Stephen Strange, anyone who's a threat. Why would a cult be after a magic man? Hmm, it's because they're a cult. But wait a minute, doesn't that sound familiar to you? A cult wanting to scan people to try to create their version of heaven on Earth? Hmm, hmm. Hmm. Sounds a lot like Arthur Harrow and his cane of judgment to me, because doesn't he sound like Nick Fury? Conchu punishes those who have already walked an evil path. His retribution comes too late. By the time his fist of vengeance arrives, people have already suffered. These new long-range precision guns can eliminate a thousand hostiles a minute. The satellites can read a terrorist's DNA before he steps outside his spider hole gonna neutralize a lot of threats before they even happen. I believe his cane is infused with both blue cosmic tesseract energy and red chaos magic to make the purple glow of his cane. And it's through that very chaos magic gift from Amit that Arthur Harrow is able to interface with the neurons of people's brains to scan them directly to try to predict their future. Because you gotta remember that all of our neurons connect to our brain. And so when he touches people's hands, he's scanning their brains. Something that we learn is actually established within MCU canon that can chaos magic can do in Avengers Age of Ultron. Her thing is neuroelectric interfacing. And why Wanda was able to control all of the minds of Westview in a very similar way to how Arthur Harrow seems to be controlling the minds of all of his weird ass followers who just watch whale footage with blank faces and laugh in unison. Which is why Arthur Harrow is able to detect the red chaos magic in Mark when he scans his brain. There's chaos in you. And also potentially why he was able to use the same cane to open a tesseract liked wormhole to summon a creature from another dimension like the Red Skull did in What If. So this all being said, with Zola being so closely tied to the Red Skull's obsession with collecting magical items of the past and converting them into weapons for the glory of Hydra, there is a chance that Zola's algorithm actually came from that very cane that Harrow now holds, because maybe Harrow got that cane from Red Skull stash. But either way, I highly advise that you all keep an eye out for Hydra during this incredible season of Moon Knight, because Hydra is always lurking in the shadows, y'all, possibly even under the new direction of the Contessa Valentina de Fontaine, Countess of the Castle that Craig after the death of one Castle Baron, Johann Schmidt. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. You can follow me at Mastertainment on Twitter. You can follow New Rockstars wherever we are on social media. Hit up NewRockstarsMerch.com because this shirt is one of the coolest shirts that I own. Thanks again for watching this video and I will see you guys later. Goodbye.